हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर रवि गुप्ता इन टुडे टॉपिक वी गोना एक्सप्लेन द न्यू थिंग रिगार्डिंग द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ टर्बो चार्जर इन टुडे वीडियो वी विल सी दैट व्हाट आर द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ टर्बो चार्जर डेवलपमेंट इन माय अपकमिंग वीडियो आई विल बी एक्सप्लेनिंग द हाइब्रिड इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक सीक्वेंशियल एंड मल्टीपल टर्बो चार्जर अरेंजमेंट In today video we going to focus on variable geometry turbo charger which is also called VGT okay through a series of diagram we will see that how this VTA variable turbine area work after that through a diagram we will see and after that we will see how it is advantage for SFOC after that what happen if we adjust the vane and after that how this vane are manufactured and how this control vanes are controlled so these are all the questions regarding the variable turbine area turbo charger which is asked in a exam so based on that i have made the pictorial representation and ppt and if you want to know more i hope this topic will be covered in this whole explanation so please listen carefully those who are new to this channel please i request all of you to please to subscribe and please to hit the like button and please to share our video if you find it useful to your facebook whatsapp and different social media group instagram wherever you like and we have a page on instagram facebook and twitter please follow that so let's start the today video of first that question which is asked is that what do i mean by turbo charger development so modification in design arrangement and control to improve the efficiency of a turbocharger is called turbocharger development so what we are doing we are modifying the design we are modifying the arrangement we are improving the control so that ultimately what is our main aim aim is to increase the efficiency by improving the efficiency what we will achieve we will achieve more efficient turbo charger now what are the recent development if suppose the first question which is asked in the oral exam or in an interview is that what recent development regarding turbo charger you know so you should say variable geometry turbo charger or variable turbine area turbo charger hybrid turbo charger electro assist turbo charger sequential turbo charging and multiple turbo charger arrangement now these will be your answer now based on your second question will be that how it work so how it work so let's see this thing okay these things are the vein okay these are the vein and this is the turbine so what is happening basically the variable turbine system consist of a nozzle ring this is the nozzle ring equipped with the adjustable vein which replaces the fixed vein so what was happening earlier we have a fixed vein like this which cannot be adjusted but now we can adjust this vein what do i mean by adjustment is that this is the open position this is the closed position now based on the amount of exhaust gas we are adjusting this vein position and when we are adjusting this vein position we are changing the area of impingement means the impact impingement we are changing and based on that the turbocharger rpm is changing so let's see what i have written the vta system consists of a nozzle ring equipped with the adjustable vein which replaces the fixed vein so first thing is that it replaces the fixed vein and it is been equipped with the variable vein ring used in man diesel standard tc and tc turbocharger adjusting vein pitch regulate the pressure of the exhaust gas now this is underlined basically what do i mean by that is that we are adjusting the vein and by adjusting the vein pitch we are regulating the pressure of exhaust gas impinging on the turbine to vary the compressor output now how it is happening 
so this will give you a clear idea so what is happening this turbine area is being controlled by a control ring which is been fitted here now when we are moving this rod up and down in that case it is changing the turbine area when the turbine area is changed at that time the exhaust gas is coming from here and it impinging on the blade is changing when the blade when the exhaust gas which has been impingement on the blade is changing at that time what is happening basically the more rotation means if the turbine area is small now suppose if this turbine area is small at that time the exhaust gas will move with a more pressure and it will impinge more harder on the blade if it will impinge more harder on the blade it will try to rotate the turbine in a very high rpm now if we open the vane more further if you open the vane like this more further at that time what is what will happen the pressure at which it was impinging will reduce and the turbocharger rpm will reduce so in the low load we are closing the vane to a much more smaller constriction so what is happening the rpm build up will be fast okay so what is happening here the same thing is happening this is a compression this is a turbine area in the low load we are constricting the turbine area so that the turbine can pick up the rpm very fast and after that we are opening the turbine area so it will more so that it will remain in that rpm and the flow of exhaust gas will also increase so what is happening here how it is advantage for sfoc so now the second question the first question i think this will be clear for you that how it works so what is happening this turbine area is been earlier here there was a fixed nozzle it has been replaced with a variable turbine nozzle which consists of a control ring on the other end which is connected by a rod arrangement and a control box is there which is varying the position based on the different parameter we will see afterward what other parameter is monitored and based on these parameters this turbine area is varied and based on this turbine area the rotation of the turbocharger is varied and as the turbocharger rotation is varied the compressor rpm is also varied as the compressor rpm will vary the pressure of amount of compressor which is produced will also vary and hence the combustion efficiency will vary this is how the, temp the how the combustion efficiency is improved now how it is advantage for sfoc now the question come to our mind how it is advantaging the sfoc what is sfoc specific fuel oil consumption so how it is advantaging for specific fuel oil consumption the quantity of charge air can be more precisely match to the quantity of injected fuel resulting in a reduced specific fuel oil consumption and emission in combination with improved dynamic behavior of engine turbocharger system very very important so what is it is saying that we are more accurately matching the amount of charge air required to the amount of injected fuel and hence it is improving the specific fuel oil consumption so if they ask you that how it is advantaging for the how it is advantage for the specific fuel oil consumption so answer should be the amount of charge air required is match with the amount of injected fuel and hence the specific fuel oil consumption reduces now the second cross question will be like that that how this quantity of charge air is precisely matched so this is precisely matched because of this variable turbine area as per the variable turbine area we are varying the turbine area and as a turbine area is varying so amount of charge air which is required for each different load is varied and depending upon that it is matching with the fuel injected so this is how it is improving the sfoc now what happen when the vane are adjusted now before we see that question answer first you see the diagram here this is the control ring okay on the other end 
and this is the vane okay and this is the turbine on the other end is the compressor this is the compressor okay now what is happening this control ring is basically attached to a this like this connection and this is the control box now this control box is consisting of servo motor which will give the signal and based on that it will move the thing up and down and based on that the vane area will change okay i hope i have given you the idea now what happen when the vane are adjusted by adjusting the pitch of the vane the pressure of exhaust gas can be regulated and the output of the compressor optimize at all point on the engine performance map so what is happening by adjusting the pitch of the vane we are adjusting the pressure of exhaust gas how it is happening as i have told you if we more constrict it at that time the pressure will be more and more high impingement on the turbine blade if we open it more then less impingement on the turbine blade in order to minimize the thermal hysteresis and improve adjustment accuracy each vane has a lever which is directly connected to a control ring this is called a control ring the control ring is actuated by an electric position motor which is integrated reduction gear whose development was the integral part of a man diesel vta solution so what is happening they are saying that this is called control box this is called the control rod and this is called the control ring now what is happening this control box consists of a servo motor which will based on the signal received will give a signal to a control rod and the control rod will vary the control ring and as the control ring will get varied it will adjust the individual vane and based on that the impingement on the turbine blade will be varied okay now how this vane are manufactured now if you want to know the material the adjustable vane are manufactured in heat and erosion resistant steel alloy so it is manufactured in heat and erosion resistant steel alloy and careful selection of fit and material ensure operation under all condition without sticking especially in application on engine burning heavy fuel oil okay so basically it if anybody asks you what material it is main manufactured in a material of heat and erosion resistant steel alloy okay now now how this is controlled means which parameters basically it is monitoring based on that it is actuating the servo motor which is controlling the rod so this control box consisting of a servo motor or a electric motor which is actuating the electric rod is getting a signal from two thing one is the charge air pressure after the compressor very very important you should must say charge air pressure after the compressor and second is the exhaust gas temperature before and after the turbocharger so these three parameter totally three parameter is guiding the turbine area okay and based on that this is been controlled so control of vane position is fully electronic and with feedback the control system monitor this parameter to adjust the vane charge air pressure after the compressor exhaust gas temperature before and after the turbo charger so in a synopsis if i want to conclude so by seeing this diagram we can say that this control box will receive a signal from a charge air pressure after the compressor and the exhaust gas temperature before and after turbo charger based on that the motor will be energized and that motor will give a signal to the control rod movement and as a control rod will move it will move the control ring and control ring with control ring the linkage of vane is been attached which will vary the vane area and as the vane area is been varied it will vary the impingement amount on the turbine blade and as the turbine blade impingement it varied the rpm will be varied as the rpm will vary on the other end the compressor is connected the compressor rpm will vary and hence the charge air pressure will be varied so based on that 
we are the main aim the main aim of this VTA is to improve the SFOC and how it is improving the SFOC it is improving the SFOC by matching the charge air with the amount of fuel injected by varying the vein area so this is how this turbine area works okay I hope I have given you some valuable input regarding the VTG if you still got any doubt please do comment below I will further explain and if you really think that I have given you something please do hit a like button and please do share our video in our various platforms Facebook WhatsApp social media whatever you have telegram wherever you want just the main purpose is only to spread the knowledge that's all so please help us to let our personal let our marine community grow and let everybody know that this channel which is spreading the knowledge that's all our aim please help us thank you friend have a good day